I've got this muscle exercise bike for more than 100 days. It shows that it has been running for 47.6 miles, but it got reset after 1000 miles. So the actual mileage is a bit more than 1000 miles. Cool. Let me check how it goes now. The handlebar has multiple handles and it still looks sturdy. This is the knob to change the handlebar's height, but I have never changed it. This one is for adjusting the resistance. And the bottle holder still looks good. I put some tapes here to avoid peeling off the paint when we step on it. I also removed the cage from the pedal as it is getting in my way of doing exercises. It is using friction resistance. Let me show you. I can increase the resistance by turning the knob. Yep, you can see that the brake pad is touching the flywheel, causing it to slow down and eventually stops. The friction is really hard and creates strong resistance for the exercise. Let me release it. Okay, now the brake pad is not touching the flywheel anymore and it's pretty quiet when it is running. Cool, let me look at this guy. Yeah, the seat is firmly mounted and the cushion is comfortable. Changing the seat's horizontal position is also simple. Yeah, I like to move it to the end and my family likes to move it to the front. Either way, it stays there as long as you tighten the knob firmly by hand. This bottom boss can support up to 330 pounds, but I never know because I don't weight that much. Okay, here's the belt drive system. I don't know what's inside. But I can guess the ports are similar to these things on Amazon. Hope it won't break. Okay, I've covered most of the ports for the bike. Basically, it still looks like new after a thousand miles ride. Let me have some sweat by following the online class. And see you next time. We've got a 10 seconds.